All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the Prophet Gosh. Shalom to the uh, elders from Christian Word, the truth and sincerity in the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the Prophet Gosh. And I say Shalom to the Akiyam out there and elders as well, too, and Akwa. So, out here, another day on this um, Saturday, uh, Saturday noon at 12 26. Uh, Saturday, 7th, September the 16th, 2023, out here on the highways and hedges, and the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shaf for giving us the opportunity and chance to come out here to do so. So as we continue to uh, measure the time diligently in itself, and I'm bring out the uh, second entrance, chapter 9, verse 1. And this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1 of the Apocryphal Books of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, when thou seest the parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right, that's why we are measuring the time diligently in itself, watching out for these uh, signs, you know. We're going to continue to see that increase as we a uh, uh, watchmen up to the house of this world, you know, as we continue to sound the alarm on the trumpet, just like the prophets of old did. During the ancient times, now we're doing that in uh, modern day times, you know. That's why we are measuring the time diligently in itself. We're going to continue to see these uh, uh, biblical signs, we're going to continue to increase. Once we see uh, increasing of these biblical signs right now, as we take, uh, you know, as we continue to see it increase now, so more than ever, you know, because these are the signs of the times that we are coming into. And we see these signs right now, right in front of our eyes now, so more than ever, we're going to continue to see it increase. But these are the signs that's going to come to pass, you know. What's the previous signs came to pass, now we're seeing these modern day signs are going to come to pass. That's why the Heavenly Father uh, said for us to measure the time diligently in itself, you know. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which you hate. Right, just like that Hurricane Lee went over there in Massachusetts and different all parts around the world. And that was from a category 2. At first, it went from a category five and beyond, and it went down a little bit. It went from category from a category uh, beyond to uh, category five, category four, three, and two. You know, so those are uh, signs that the Happy Father is visiting this earth now, so more than ever. And we've seen what took place over there in Central Morocco, and we've seen, uh, seen what took place over there in Libya. So that shows you the signs that the Heavenly Father is visiting this earth with these weather like conditions. He's going to continue to visit this earth now so more than ever because he's the creator of everything, you know. And this is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9, verse 3. It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars for people in the world, right? That's what we are seeing. Increasing earthquakes in diverse places and the uh, uprise and seditions and uprise and the uproars in the people in the world, you know. But we're going to continue to see that increasing now so more than ever because we are in these uh, modern day uh, signs of the times. Like the scripture says, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, there's nothing new under the sun. So we're going to continue to see of an increasing of these uh, signs because these are the signs of the times that we are in, you know. This is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9, verse 4 of the Apocryphal Books of the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, It says, Then thou shalt understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? From the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, that the Heavenly Father spoke of these signs. And then that's when we're taking heed to it, just like the disciples take heed to the words of our Lord and our Savior when they had that private meeting in uh, Matthew's 24th chapter. And the disciples asked them, saying, What shall these signs be of thy country and of the end of the world? And Yahweh shall reply to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And as many shall be many false prophets and coming in his name of Hamashiach and Abishai, and shall deceive many. And we're taking heed to that, you know. We're taking heed to these uh, signs that the Heavenly Father spoke of from the days that were before the people from the beginning, you know. This is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For all life that is made in a world and had a beginning and an end is manifest. Right? We see in the signs. Hey, the signs are clearly showing itself now so more than ever, you know. And I'm uh, going to that Jeremiah 51 and 7 as we continue to see the uh, this modern day Babylon is declining now so more than ever. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine and therefore the nations are mad, right? Because the nations have been hit to this uh, modern day, uh, this modern day Babylonian system. And they've been drunken off the ways of this modern day Babylonian system and still to this day. And they continue on. Now they're hip to it and they're turning away from it. And they still have other nations are still hip to this modern day Babylonian system. 
This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed out for her, take bond for her pain, and so she may be healed. Right, so this modern day Babylonian system is not going to heal, even though it's trying to uh, have ways to bounce back. That's why you're seeing the nations are in an uproar protesting. That's why you're seeing seditions and uprisings and uproars in the world. And they're going against this modern day Babylonian system. As we see, you know, we're seeing signs of this uh, modern day Babylonian system is on the decline. We're going to continue to see it on the decline now, so more than ever. Now. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 9. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, we, we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsaken her and let us, everyone, go into his own country. For her judgments reach up into the heavens and it lifted up even to the sky. So we're seeing the signs of this modern day Babylonian system is on the decline. We're going to continue to see this uh, modern day Babylonian system is on the, uh, on the decline now, so more than ever. Because this modern day Babylonian system is getting exposed of what it is, you know. Of uh, promote of evilness and wickedness and unrighteous decrees of this highly influence of this modern day Babylonian system. Now the nations are hit to it, even though you still have nations are still part of this worldwide modern day Babylonian system. And the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son will throw down this modern day Babylonian system. And we're throwing down this system by the words of Yahweh Hashem Al Shaddai through the Holy Scriptures. And by the Heavenly Father, that's all we got the Son, and the nations are going against this place as well, too. And they're going to continue to turn against this place from a warlike standpoint, from an economical standpoint, and many different action standpoints of the nations are angry and mad at this modern day Babylonian system, you know. Just like in ancient times now in modern day times. As the scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun, Ecclesiastes 29, you know. And this is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And this is the book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. This is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the greatest fallen is fallen. It's become a habitation of the cedars and a hold of every foul spirit and a, and a cage of every unclean and H-A-T-E-F-12 bird. So this modern day Babylonian system is getting exposed of what it is, you know, because it says the sins have been reached up into the heavens and lifted up into the sky. So it's being exposed of what it is, this modern day Babylonian system, of unrighteous decrees, and it's going to continue to be, uh, uh, continue to be evil and wicked. And this king, this, this, this modern day Babylonian system is going to continue to be exposed of what it is, you know, and we're going to continue to expose this uh, modern day Babylonian system as well, too. And in the sight of Yahweh Hashem as well too, and right along the nations are going to continue to go against this modern day Babylonian system. You know, this is uh, Revelation chapter eighteen and verse four, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, "For all the nations have drunken of her wine, and of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through her abundance and delicacies." Right, that's what we're seeing. Hey, we're seeing this. Uh, this modern day Babylonian system and the nations have been they've been fooled and tricked and stooped on the ways of this modern day Babylonian system. They have committed fornication with her and they have been waxed rich right along with her. So they, they've been drunken off the ways of that of the ways of this modern day Babylonian system. Now they are starting to turn away from that, you know, they're starting to do their own thing. Even though you still have the other nations of the different kingdoms around the world. And the rulers and the rulerships of these kingdoms are still at a highly influence against this modern day Babylonian system. They still with it, and still others are uh, not against it, not against it, and ones are against it as well too. So we see in the uh, increasing downfall of this modern day Babylonian system. And we're going to continue to chant down the, this modern day Babylonian system that it has the whole world in stoop of this modern day Babylonian system, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to uh, tear, it, tear it down by the words of Yahweh Hashem El Shai and by the Heavenly Father Yahweh His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai as well, too. And the nations are going to go against this uh, modern day Babylonian system on top, uh, top of that as well, too. You know? and this is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partaker of her sins and receive none of her plagues. So we cannot receive none of the sins of Babylon and not continue to glorify in those sins. We got to turn away from that and come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. And it's only we got to sell Yahweh Shah through righteousness, seeking righteousness, turn away from evilness and wickedness that we've been glorifying for a very long time. So we cannot continue to uh, fall into the trap of these modern day sins of this modern day Babylonian system. 
So we got to turn from those ways and come back to the ways of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, especially the Israelites, of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, of the respect of the northern, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. You know, the Israelites, hey, we got to come back to the ways of righteousness and, and uh, separate ourselves from this modern day Babylonian system, like it uh, says in Revelations 18 and 4. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partaker of her sins and receive none of her plagues. So we got to turn from the ways of this modern day Babylonian system and come back into the ways of righteousness in the sight of the heavenly Father. So we got to say, I'm shocked, you know. I'm read again. Let's uh, read uh, 2nd Edwin chapter 15 and verse 5. Uh, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, that I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what's uh, about to take place in these latter days. And we're definitely seeing it right now, right now as we speak. But we're going to continue to see it at an alarming rate like never before. You know, the famines, the pestilence, the plagues, it's only going to increase, you know, in these times. Because these are the